Uh, real quick, I saw The Dictator. Uh, oh, God. Um, I guess I got to run over what the plot was. Sasha Baron Cohen stars as General Aladdin. He's a North African dictator who comes to America. He's betrayed by a second in command, played by Ben Kingsley. And I, uh, I wrote all this, so I'm just going to read it quick because I don't care. Um, he escapes certain death, and he has to hook up with a hippie played by Anna Faris. First and foremost, the movie is a great trailer. It's a dumbass movie. It's just, it's just dumb. There's nothing redeeming about it. This is the first one of his three that was scripted, uh, Borat, Bruno, and The Dictator. Mm -hmm. And this is the first one. This feels more like a skit than any of the other ones. It's, it seems like he can't put a cohesive story together to save his life. And don't get me wrong. I know what Sasha Baron Cohen is. I mean, he's a shock comedian. I mean, it's really what he is. He's like Howard Stern on film. Mm -hmm. But it's just it's, – it's so cheap. The movie goes for cheap jokes so many times. And it doesn't – there are a couple moments where I thought, wow, that was actually genius. I mean, there's some shit in here that will make you fall off your chair laughing. But as a whole, the majority of the movie is stupid as shit. It's not clever. It's not um, well-written. It's not well-thought-out. It's just, let's go for the penis joke. Let's go for the sex joke. Let's go for one more vagina joke. Let's make fun of more women. Let's make fun of more this and that. Let's go for, you know, every every minority or group goes... Unscathed. I mean, he is an equal opportunity offender. God bless him. I think in, in parts, he can be a really funny guy. But honestly, I wanted to leave halfway through this movie. I just wanted to get up and go. My wife wouldn't let me, so I had to sit there and suffer. It was only, I think it's in like an hour and 20 minutes or something. It's a really short movie. Wow, it's really short. And it felt like four hours. I felt like, <laughs> seriously, I felt like I was watching a, a War and Peace or something. I don't know what the hell is going on. I just wanted it to end. Um by the time I left the theater, so, what's that? No, go ahead. I was just going to ask. I mean, so would you say his movies are getting progressively worse since his first one? Yeah. I mean, Borat, I thought was borderline genius. I mean, the way that he made that work, I thought was, was clever as hell. And uh, Bruno, for being as foul as it could be in many scenes, it, I thought it was pretty funny. And, and I thought the story was semi-cohesive. And even though, I mean, it's all shock cinema i mean it was still cohesive this is the first one that's actually fully scripted and and granted i'm sure there's a lot of improv involved as well but it felt like watching saturday night lives kits just all the bad ones in one movie <laughs> yeah. yeah i mean he seems to me like he, he's actually a, a pretty good um supporting actor he's if a, he's not if he's not you know, the main character in a movie he's actually pretty good but when you've got these I don't. To me, his movies are just getting worse and worse, and and you're not doing much to, to uh, change my opinion of it. But well, <clears throat> I'll be honest. I'm trying to be very fair about it, um, because there were moments that were just dropped at hilarious. I mean, there was a lot of really funny stuff. But out of ten, I'd only give it a four, hmm. and that's that's being generous because I really want to give it like a three or something. But there's a couple of jokes that I thought were really funny, but if I tell you what they are, they won't be funny. Hmm. So, okay, that's the dictator. I give it four out of tens. 